This is Tim with BoatTrailerParts.com. In this video, we will review these Dexter galvanized 3,500-pound 2x2 boat trailer axles. All of these 3,500-pound capacity axles come standard with a four-hole brake flange. This is a standard four-hole brake flange that will mount any brand of disc or drum brakes to your axle. The dimensions of this axle tubing are 2 inch by 2 inch. This dimension is very standard amongst the trailer industry. Now we will go through the important features of this axle starting from the back and working forward. This Dexter 2x2 axle comes with a standard 4 hole brake flange already mounted to the tubing for mounting your drum and your disc brakes. Next we have a stainless steel wear sleeve. This is the surface to which your grease seal rides. This is in place to protect your grease seal from premature damage and corrosion. As your hub rotates around its spindle, it needs a smooth surface to ride on. This unique feature protects your grease seal from premature damage. The grease seal is important because it prevents moisture from entering your bearing chamber. When the grease seal is damaged, grease slings on the back surface of the wheel and allows moisture to enter the bearing chamber, causing corrosion. These Dexter axles feature the Easy Lube greasing system. There is a grease fitting on the tip of the spindle. For simple and regular maintenance, this Zerk fitting is installed for you to grease your bearings. Again, use the Zerk fitting on the tip of the spindle for greasing your bearings. Simply press the nozzle on your grease gun onto the Zerk fitting. Grease will then flow through the center of your spindle. The fresh grease will exit right inside your grease seal out the Easy Loop port. The grease is then forced forward re-greasing your rear bearing, then re-greasing your outer bearing, and finally out the dust cap. This process is of course done while your hub is mounted to your spindle, but this ensures that you can routinely repack and re-grease your inner bearing and your outer bearing without too much hassle. Let's go through some components used with this axle. This is an AccuLube or EasyLube dust cap, specifically used with EasyLube axles. It features a removable rubber center plug for greasing your spindle. For regular greasing, you simply remove the center plug to access your Zerk fitting. Now we will talk about the tapered spindle on this 3500 pound axle. The measurements of this spindle are 1 and 3 eighths by 1 and a 16th. First, the rear bearing, which measures 1 and 3 eighths inner diameter, after being installed in the hub, rides about here on your spindle. The smaller front bearing, which measures 1 and a 16th inch inner diameter, rides about here after being installed in your hub. And finally we have the grease seal, which rides here. This grease seal measures roughly 1.719 inches in inner diameter. This is typically a double-lipped grease seal, which is ideal for keeping grease in and water out. With the purchase of every 3,500 pound galvanized axle from us, you get these adjustable spring seats. The center hole you see here is where your spring tie bolt will sit when your leaf springs are mounted to your axle. Typically, axles would have had a hole drilled or a welded on plate where the spring tie bolt would sit, but not with these adjustable spring seats. No welding or drilling is required. The adjustable spring seat simply sits between the leaf spring and the axle and is then bolted together with your U-bolts and axle tie plate. These adjustable spring seats are perfectly suitable for mounting on top or below your trailer's axle. We include this unique feature with the purchase of your axle. To recap this axle's features, we have a 2x2 tubing, standard 4-hole brake flange, then a stainless steel wear sleeve for protecting your grease seal, we then have a 1 and 3 8 larger bearing, we have a 1 and a 16th smaller bearing, and finally we have the Easy Lube greasing system on the tip of the spindle. 